My name is Stephanie Towery and I'm a librarian. I work at Texas State University and today I'm going to talk a little bit about um, Creative Commons. It's one of my most asked questions, what is Creative Commons? So I'm, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the history, how it came to be, and how it functions today. So uh, what happened to start it all off was in 1998, uh, U.S. Congress passed a law called the Sonny Bono Copyright Term Extension Act. And what it did was it extended the duration of all existing copyrights for 20 years. So um, it kind of um, increased the problem that was already existing in copyright, which was that the Internet had made it and other technologies had made it very, very easy to um, share works, copy works, um, but the law on copyright was quite old and not keeping up. So um, just a little bit about that. Copyright exists from uh, the creation of the work and when it's um, fixed in a tangible medium. So um, copyright exists on all the things you create on the internet. Well, people want to share them. But it's very difficult to get permission, and you don't know if you find something on the internet. It's easy to share it, but you don't know um, if the person would allow you to share it. So that's the basic problem. There was a, um, a tension between um, what we were able to do, but what we were allowed to do under the law. So, and there was a gentleman named Lawrence Lessig, and he was a law professor at Stanford Law, and he decided that he thought that the um, the Copyright Extension Act was unconstitutional, so he challenged it in court, and that court case was known as Eldred versus Ashcroft. Ultimately, he did not win. Um, the Supreme Court found, it went all the way to the Supreme Court, and they found that it was, um, even though things were taking longer to go into the public domain, it was still constitutional. So, um, what uh, Mr. Lessig did with some other people was to found a company, a nonprofit corporation called Creative Commons. And what Creative Commons was supposed to do, and what they've been really successful in doing, was um, creating some licenses and making it easier for people to share their copyrighted works. So, initially, the um, the focus was on creating the licenses. So there are six basic licenses that allow you free for free to uh, tag your work with this license and share it um, with some restrictions, but not as much as an all rights reserved restriction that exists um, in US copyright. So what they've done now is they've translated that basic, um, those basic licenses into a lot of different languages and they function internationally. So there's a huge global network of people who are using these. Um, there are now um, almost a billion and a half um, creative works that are using the Creative Commons license right now. And it's always growing. So there's this huge global network of people devoted to sharing their work and being able to reuse the work of others. So that's the basics of what Creative Commons is about. It's it's a nonprofit organization, it's a series of licenses, and it's this huge global network which is um, akin to a movement. So that's what I wanted to tell you today. And um, in the future, in future videos, I'm sure I'll get into um, exactly how the licenses work and how you can find um, Creative Commons license work on the internet. So thank you very much.